Hi, welcome. It's Mayan Shah with RVMAX.US, and today we've got a beautiful 2019 American Eagle Heritage Edition. This coach has the 15 liter 605 Cummins in the back um, and is quite a beautiful coach with a lot of features that I think have been missing from other high-end motor coaches that I would put in the same category as this. One of them being travel space. As you'll see when we get inside this thing, it's actually got a pretty good amount of travel space. But the coach has been built in such a way that makes it feel like its own thing um, while also feeling uh, pretty well built and uh, designed in a way that definitely sets it apart from a lot of other coaches. And in that regard, really does have that Eagle DNA. Um, anyways, let's start in the front of this thing. Um, it's got a very unique face. You're not gonna see anything like this out there. A lot of chrome going on. We've got the Eagle Heritage Edition put here on this chrome plate. The Eagle has LED backlighting on it, so at night it lights up. Big American Coach badge set into this molded piece of fiberglass, very meant to be there. And this one piece windshield actually curves around this American coach badge. You've also got a camera up here. This coach does have a 360 camera system um, and a forward facing camera, which is quite convenient. There are multiple screens up in the cockpit, as we'll see soon, um, that really make it easy to see around the coach and see all your gauges and your radio and GPS and all that at the same time. Now, as mentioned, very inter interesting face. There's also um, high intensity LED lights here. We've got LED low beams and high beams, as well as LED fog lights and LED running lights, um, which come on during the daytime. So very nice headlight setup. We do have Euro style mirrors here and they look insane. Um, the beefiness of these arms is like double what your normal RV arm is holding the mirrors and they do have the cameras built in so you've got this huge extra nice perspective down the side of the coach and it just gives it a really beefy look. So behind this first compartment, we've got chassis side electronics, um, stuff for the front dash, you know, things such as like your electric step, shades, stuff like that. And on the right, we've got um, an emergency air chuck, and we've also got an accessory air chuck if you need to fill things up using your own compressed air. Now this generator will slide out, so you just push this button right here, and the entire face of the coach or the bottom part of the face of the coach comes out with the generator. So the headlights go out with the generator, um, all of that comes out with it. And this is a 12,500 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. We do have automatic GenStar on the coach, of course. And these generators are absolutely fantastic. It's extremely clean in here and there's only 650 hours on this generator. so. Nothing, pretty much. I also like this extra flap here. This is quite um, intelligently designed because with this crease here or this, you know, it's not connected with the fiberglass above because it slides out with the tray. You're going to get a little water into this crevice and it's gonna fall on top of the generator. And it's nice that there's this little rubber cover here so it doesn't just fall straight on your generator. That's why a lot of them look all rusty when you open it up in here, but not this one. So let's go ahead and close this up. As you can see, the access here is amazing. I mean, you get easy access to all your dash air components. I'm sorry, I get distracted. I just want to talk about this before we move on. It's very nice. We've got aqua hot circulation lines here. Look how fat the lines are for these dash air components. Um, you got their low and high side here. The dash air is a beast. It's like 34,000 BTU um, of dash air dual zone so the passenger in the front seat here has their own thermostat and fan control and the driver has their own setup but 34,000 btu of dash air that's insane that's like more than two 15,000 btu roof air is coming out your dash very impressive now let's go ahead and shut this so you just hit this button here and it comes on in by the way we do have our windshield wiper fluid reservoir right here mounted on the door. And I'm very happy so far with these uh, storage compartments. The mounting points are pretty nice and they feel 
a high quality so far. I also like that this exhaust pipe sits in this little channel. That way it has less opportunity to sit there and shake up and down and be grabbed. It's got like a little C rubber channel to hold it in place there. We've got LED marker lights down the side of the coach. There's three marker lights down the side. We do have two docking lights on each side of the coach. And these tires are 315, 80, 22 and a half size tires. So huge sidewalls on them. Um, the Raptor on, of course, polished aluminum wheels. We do have tire pressure monitoring sensors on all the tires here. Um, and we also have disc brakes on all of the wheels on this coach. So excellent, excellent brakes. Um, and it has a three-stage powerful exhaust brake on it. So next compartment. Now this right here is an extra storage compartment part of our big main pass-through storage in the coach. Electric slide tray. We've got some extra accessories here. That's the rear American coach mud flap. This is like a magna shade that goes with the coach. Big storage. You just click a button and it slides in and out. There's a button on the other side here too. And by the way, there's also sensors on all of these compartment doors to let you know in the cockpit if there's any door that's open. So it'll start warning you when you're going down the road. Now this has a dual fillable 150 gallon fuel tank you fill up right here. Right here is our 50 amp power cord reel which is on an electric reel. We've got the reservoir for our aqua hot boiler fluid in here. This right here is our big aqua hot 600D. It's currently in service so it's been serviced. It's got two electric elements high and low so you got 3000 watts of electric heating power. You can get furnace heat and hot water just using electric. And if you want, you fire on that big burner and it'll give you unlimited hot water in the shower. It's fantastic, or really anywhere you need it. Now this right here is our plumbing bay. Um, this coach has a 100 gallon water tank, 60 gallon gray tank, and a 40 gallon black tank. We've got our low point drains over there on the left. It does have a SantaCon macerator pump out here. Um, you've got an electric reel for your water hose. So you just pull this out, then click this button and it reels itself back in. Quite convenient. Um, easy to use exterior ports to let the hoses pass through. Good bit of storage down below. You can check your tanks from out here. You've got a Sani flush system for the black and gray tank, um, which is quite nice. Um, and there's an outside shower over here. There's a soap dispenser on the left and a paper towel rack here too. Now this has a 20,000 pound axle rating on the dually. We've got a 14,000 pound axle rating on the tag axle, and this has the V-Ride passive steer option. Um, so you can dump this, and it also automatically passively steers to increase your maneuverability and the less wear on this tire um, when you're maneuvering in tight situations under 20 miles an hour. And this is also an independent suspension setup on this tag axle, which is impressive. Now the front axle is a 17,000 pound axle. So big front axle rating um, and a pretty dang good size tag axle rating here. Love that passive steer. We've got 315, 80 fat tires all around the bus. And remember, steel disc brakes all around the coach. Now this coach does have hydraulic leveling and air leveling. So it's got both options of leveling on this coach. Now we've got a, uh, I believe this is a 15 gallon def tank here. And you can also see your air dryer back there too. Nice access to that. Painted grill for our side radiator grill. And we've got a big full wall slide here. Um, there are accent lights built into the bottom of the slides. You've got LEDs on the bottom of the slides. They make the slides look like they're sitting there floating. And we have RGB underlights on the coach so you can pick exactly what color you want your underlights from the touchscreen inside. Now the rear styling on the coach is quite fantastic. Almost a little Van Hool-esque, if you ask me. The way the box is kind of shaped reminds me of a Van Hool bus. But it's got a 15 liter 605 Cummins making 2,000 pound feet of torque. And it's hooked up to an Allison six speed transmission. This is the 4,000 series Allison. So it's the biggest, baddest Allison you can get. 
um, with a 15,000 pound tow capacity. So absolutely massive tow capacity. It's a Reese type five hitch with a type three accessory in there. So you can use your typical standard setup if you want. Now this does have the aqua hot exhaust piped out the back like a proper NASCAR coach, which I quite like compared to piping it out the side. We've got stainless exhaust tips back here. This is the roof of this beast. It has a steel framed fiberglass roof, one piece fiberglass. And I love the fundamental design of this. Um, a, the really strong center bulkheads that are made out of steel that we've got on this. Shout out to Matt for giving me this tip. And they also have a lot of extra steel bracing in the whole chassis, which is really good for many different reasons on these big motor coaches. Um, but anyways, this one piece fiberglass has a curvature to it, which some of these high end coaches don't have. And it appalls me every time I see one. I really like these coaches that have the slightly curved roof, um, much better from the eyes of an RV tech. We've got a little in motion wine guard road trip um, right here. It is a T4. This is a wine guard razor which can be used to connect uh, service via a uh, telephone network um, to broadcast Wi-Fi for the whole, whole coach. Starlink could be added to this coach if you'd like. Um, if it were mine, I would probably remove that satellite and put the Starlink right there. But anyways, depends on your situation. Some people may not need that and this will be more than enough. These, this coach has three 15,000 B2 roof airs um, with heat pumps. We've got covers on our exhaust fans, all three of them, which is terrific. We've got a solar panel here. This looks to be about a hundred watt. We've got our ventilation for tanks, rear skylight over the shower, rear cap, where the intake for the engine actually skirts down in somewhere back here in this corner. We've got LED marker lights up here, really slick small little bright LED marker lights, two big Gerards here, the boxes to match, body kit and all that stuff. This is an absolutely gorgeous roof right here. And uh, also, because it's been garaged, the caps and the paint on everything up here is excellent. There's our uh, XM radio receiver. Beautiful roof. I open this rear hatch by opening this door and pressing extend. And there you go. Raises up that rear grill and we can see that 15 liter 605 Cummins, which is an absolute beast. Now, another thing I quite like is this whole bottom piece here is actually made to be removed. There's four or five bolts on the side and you can see the fiberglass line here where this piece is separate. And you can remove this whole piece and gain even better access with only a couple bolts that you have to remove. And you get excellent access to the rear engine here, um, which is fantastic. Side radiated. Um, the air intake is actually up top on this coach, so you get cooler air. And there's a very, very, very wide angle rear backup camera on this coach. Now I've got two 12 volt starting batteries here, easy to use cutoffs for your coach and chassis batteries. We've got a diagnostic port over there on the right. And right here is a little extra storage on the coach. So you can put your oil, you can put whatever you want in here quite easily. Our tag axle again, dually axle. Now right up here, we've got our inverter compartment. So this is a 2,800 watt inverter. We've got Firefly Electronics in this coach. So shared with a lot of Prevo buses and high-end motor coaches. You've got your solar controller here. Um, you've got your sea bridge so the inverter can talk to um, the rest of the coach and the Firefly touchscreen. This is a CAN coach or a C uh, coach. So everything is um, communicating via one cable um, instead of multiple wires going into everything. This is a modern day, high tech, high end um, coach. So you're gonna see all the high end coaches use this type of C CAN system to communicate to everything in the coach, including the inverter, including the transfer switch. Now that is a automatic transfer switch um, with RVC CAN communication built in, and it has a surge guard built in. It's quite nice. Also got a little fuse box down there and everything's labeled pretty well on the Firefly too. 
Now this right here is our battery compartment. We've got eight uh, six volt batteries here. You've got room to put in two more if you'd like. All the connections have been hit with a protectant. You've got cutoffs up top um, for the slide out and all that good stuff. And that panel will actually remove. Um, it's made to be removed, which is convenient. So you can get to the batteries there a little easier. And again, LED strip lights in all these storage compartments. Now up above here, we've got a massive uh, 50 inch, or actually it might be bigger than 50 inch, outside Sony smart TV, so you can easily get out here and entertain. And this huge TV is actually on a swivel mount, so you can pull this sucker out and angle it any direction you'd like. That's pretty impressive for a TV this size. So this has four magnets on the back to help hold this whole mount stick to the metal plate in the back. So well-designed, big TV, great outside entertainment. Now down below, we've got our storage. Um, we've got extra outlets here on the left, including a 12 volt cigarette type lighter outlet, central vac, dirt vac with all the connections right there, dual fillable 150 gallon fuel tank. And then right here, we've got the other side of our main electric pass through storage compartment. So you click a button and this sucker will slide out on this side too. You can also start to see a bunch of the extra framing that you get on this coach. So American Coach takes this Freightliner SLM chassis and they absolutely beef it up. So American Coach is one of the few that actually adds a bulkhead in the center of the coach. So right about here on the bus, um, right under our extra LED patio light here, we've got a whole center steel bulkhead that adds a ton of strength to the whole chassis. On top of that, the whole upper frame is all steel, um, much stronger than a lot of other competitors that are actually asking a lot more money for their high-end coaches. But this one's got a stronger fundamental chassis than a lot of those competitors who want more money for their coaches. Now this right here is another pass-through. This is our forward-facing pass-through with the smaller storage trays, the small ones that come out on each side of the coach. So quite nicely set up. Now this has two big Gerards over here for the patio awnings, um, and they've got built-in integrated LED lights, the slide outs underneath the slides, we've got LED strip lights, and don't forget those RGB color changing under lights on the coach, the thing looks insane at night. Now let's go ahead and take a peek at what this thing is like with the slides closed. Now this has a really high-end step, it's painted to match the coach. We've got a 30-inch avionics, door here. American Coach has been using this for a while and they're absolutely fantastic. Now let's take a step in. We've got beautiful quartz steps with accent lights built in. We've got a beautiful floor here and look at the travel space. This thing has a big full wall slide, all these extra slides on it, and excellent travel space. This is fantastic. I can get the whole fridge open here. I can actually really use this sink. I mean, look at this. Look how much space I've got here. For a coach like this, to have this amount of travel space is out of this world. I'm in love with it. Actually open this door a long ways. You don't have to have some weird type of door here to get into it. You've got excellent space to get in here. And this is wider than the older generations here. You've got more space here to get into the bedroom. Now, yes, you probably still want to put the bed slide on this coach if you're going to stay overnight in a parking lot, but that's the only slide you've got to put out. It's really set up well for traveling, especially for a big, bad rolling condo that this thing is when you open the slides out. Now let's open the slides out and check out this rolling condo. All right, we've got these slides busted open now. And uh, this interior is quite luxurious. You come in here and you just disappear from the world. Um, however, with the push of a button, you raise all those electric day and night shades and you've got great visibility out of the coach. Um, this is something that they've definitely improved on this generation American coach. We've got this huge window here on the dinette. We've got another huge window just like this behind this Televator TV. And I also really love, while we're over here looking at this, I love this wood trim and countertops that go around all the windows. Instead of having 
a bunch of stone like you normally would see. We've got a two-tone wood. Um, this wood matches the rest of the cabinetry. Then you've got this dark trim piece that goes on the edges of it. And it looks exquisite. And I think this is a timeless feature that kind of separates this coach from the rest. We've also got these beautiful pieces that go around all the windows with all this accent woodwork that's been put in and it looks fantastic. The cabinets up here add a lot of storage to the coach. You do have um, magnet locks instead of regular locks. So they shut with a very satisfying little click um, and it's much easier to latch. You don't have to shove it to get it to click in, right? And I love this. Look how overbuilt that is. Two hinges um, per door on this tiny little door that we've got here. There's all these beautiful recessed LED lights there. We've got accent LED lights on both sides of the coach that go the length of the bus with this beautiful trim work that's been done up here. They didn't cheap out on that piece, that's for sure. The couches are fantastic. We've got villa furniture. We've got this U-shaped couch. It's not a J and it does have storage underneath. So you just pull these drawers out and there you go. Bose soundbar over there. We've got cabinet drawers right here um, with all the remotes, all that good stuff. I love the outlets that pop out. You've got this in multiple locations throughout the coach. There's USB ports in addition to regular power outlets. Um, and there's another one over here in this corner. So really well set up as far as practicality goes, in addition to being amazing. These two chairs swivel around. They're absolutely gorgeous, two-tone black leather with that excellent looking stitching that gives it a super cool look. These are amazing. They're both recliners. The driver's seat's a recliner as well. Now here's another cool thing about these chairs. It has a heated function and a ventilated seat function, both of which work when you're just sitting here parked enjoying it. It also has a massage seat function, which again works while you're just sitting here. These are eight-way villa seats with massage, with ventilation, and with heat. Um, these are fantastic chairs, unbelievably comfortable, and a whole lot more comfortable than your typical recliner. And think about it, this is what you drive down the road in, these chairs. That's why I say these are more comfortable to drive down the highway than most luxury cars are, at least to me. And this chair over here is the exact same, um, except it's actually a little wider. Um, so this is like almost like a love seat. This is ridiculous. Absolutely comfortable, heated, ventilated, massage seat function. Um, yeah, what more could you ask for? You've also got um, aqua hot, uh, ventilators right here. So instead of ducting them through the couch and cutting holes in that leather and kind of breaking it up, they put them up here, which actually spreads the heat a little better because it's farther forward um, in the coach and you're gonna get this whole area warm, which is important, especially if you're using these recliners right here. Now there's an extra TV up there. And by the way, the Televator has this extra little piece of wood that matches this. Um, when it goes down and there's a piece of wood that it sits on so it looks like oh that just sits there normally and then when you put it away it's like oh that's just there normally it's very slight now over here we've got this huge couch um super deep you've got this massive look at this armrest it's huge little nice stainless trim piece here black stitching to bring out that cream leather extremely comfortable my gosh and and this one has a big king size pull out mattress underneath. So nice setup. Um, you can sleep people in this coach, uh, especially with this big old couch and it's unbelievably comfortable. You've also got accent lights back here. Um, the wood trim work in the cockpit is amazing. I mean, look at this curve piece here. The woodwork has been really well done in this bus. It, for a 2019 high end bus, you'd be hard pressed to find woodwork um, that's kind of got this kind of classic timeless feel to it that I think this wood does. Classic setup, American coach. I know I just used that word twice in a couple minutes, but this is an American coach trait. You've got this extra little bald eagle cap up here. That's what I like to call it. Um, and it adds a little headspace up in here and lets you set that TV in these beautiful, gargantuan pieces of wood. I mean, look how thick that is. That's ridiculous. So really cool setup up in the cockpit. It's gorgeous right when you walk in and when you're looking at it and just using it. We're gonna to tour the cockpit in depth before we hit the test drive and that'll come in a few minutes. 
Now look at that woodwork around that um, and the trim work around those two windows. Unique, you've got accent lights built in there. Anyways, before I blab too much about random things in here, let's keep moving on. We've got our galley space here, kitchen. Um, we've got two of these outlet setups that you pop out, outlets with USBs on the other side too. Like a subway tile here, big window behind it. We've got a designer faucet here with extension. This feels so nice. Huge, um, I believe this is called a farmhouse sink with a stainless that continues down there. Absolutely massive. This is bigger than most people's home kitchen sinks. And you've got these Corian inserts that look like they're floating. Like it looks like they're gonna fall off, but they've got these pieces in here to keep them set. But when you're looking at them, you're like, whoa, is this not gonna fall off? It's kind of interesting. Deep countertop too. I mean, look how deep this is and big. It's pretty wide. You've also got this extension right here. So you hit this button to unlock it, pull out on the stainless handle. And there you go. You've got an extra little extension here. Um, this is quartz countertops here. So they could do anything they want and looks pretty nice. Goes well, accents this lighter colored wood pretty well. You've got another outlet set up over here. You've got a dual burner induction stove. This is a huge induction stove and it is a Dometic. You've also got an Advantum 120 GE um, microwave convection oven. Down below, they've managed to give you some extra storage in a drawer. And then right here, you've got your dishwasher, although you'd never know it. Um, and it looks like it has never been used too. Down here, you've got storage. If I'm gonna nitpick, I mean, this is a type of flaw you can find on this coach. All right, sorry, it's not a brand new coach. <laughs> More cabinet space up top. This is all finished in a very interesting material. It's almost like a carpet. It's like a fibrous carpet. Imagine that helps with sound deadening too. So I like when they use this in the cabinets because I feel like that helps with noise suppression coming in the coach. It's all down here in the bottom too. So I'd imagine the more you have in the coach to suppress you from noise, the better. The tile is gorgeous. Um, we've got a porcelain tile here, polished, um, finished with like a marble look. It is heated one through 10 levels. I turned it on probably about 20 minutes ago and I'm already feeling that heat come up through the tile. Um, dual zone uh, tile heat is awesome. This tile work is set at like an angle. Um, you've got a design in it and it really does add some character to the interior. Now across from the galley space, we've got our huge Whirlpool household refrigerator here. We've got a wine cooler to the left of it, very slick wine cooler, perfect to keep a couple bottles in there, stainless to match the finish, and it's got a built-in travel lock. Up above, we've got a pantry space. And to the left, we've got our washer dryer stack. Again, with all that fibrous carpeting material all up in this compartment, even on the, the ceiling of the compartment. Now here is our dinette. Um, so this dinette has this huge wood buffet here. It looks amazing. Accent lights underneath it, accent lights around the window, big window, storage up top. And there's also storage underneath here. So trying to pack as much as you can get. Um, and there is a Bose subwoofer for the surround sound in here, um, as well as storage to the left of that subwoofer. The carpet is mint. It is beautiful carpet on this slide out. And this will extend. So with this extended, we've got two fold out chairs in the back wardrobe, and you can easily seat four people here quite comfortably. Um, and as you can see, with that extended, with the extension on the galley space, it really starts turning into its own little kitchen area here um, with a unique feel. I like when you can start setting it out like this. You've got a huge galley space to cook, and you've got a huge place to seat, dine people, and entertain. There's three drawers over the left of there. I love that they continued this finished wood on all the panels in the coach. Quite a unique feel, although there's an occasion um, where you see a material like this, it's got this soft pleather feel on this wall, like a cushion. Another curved piece of wood here, touch screen where you can control everything. There's an app called Vega Touch Aurora, so you can control the coach from your phone and you pretty much get the same display on your phone, which is pretty cool. 
You can control everything here. Underlights on the coach, um, which by the way, the underlights on the coach are RGB, so you can have them shift colors as you see them doing right now, or you can have them set through certain colors. If you wanna like do a Clemson football game, you can do orange um, or red for another team or blue, it's pretty cool. Um, you can also control the dimness on all the lights here. You can control your shades from here. Um, and yeah, it's pretty easy to use system. There's all kinds of other things you can do too. I really like that it's got a schedule for the aqua hot. So you can have the diesel heat come on a certain time, electric heat come on a certain time. That is quite smart. And when you go home, you see your AC lines, you see what you're drawing right now, you see battery voltage, you can control your AGS from here. So you click and hold and you can control all the parameters with ease. Um, and yeah, it's pretty nice. There's also an away and stowed mode, so you can have a bunch of parameters set and you just say, hey, I'm walking out the coach, I'm going away, click. Or hey, I'm gonna stow the coach for storage for a month, click. And it sets all the things to where, just where you want it. Super nice. So let's move on from that. Right here, we've got our half bath, porcelain Dometic toilet. We've got a good bit of space in here, very slick setup, designer faucet, nice backsplash. Pretty big countertop, um, storage up here. You've got your main breakers um, for the coach right up here. By the way, there's a fantastic fan in the galley space. There's a fantastic fan right here. And I love this American coach design they've had for a while where you just pull down and it releases it on hinges. Um, so instead of like some others, you pull the whole thing off and then you gotta put that sucker back, which is so annoying. This, it folds down. That is the right way to go to me. So good bit of space in here, as mentioned. Nice half bath. What else can you ask for? Now right here we've got a pocket door. Again, same, oh my gosh, that's so heavy. Solid wood. Comes and sets right there and locks. It goes down pretty low to the ground, which I like. Gives you a better seal. I also like this lip here where it can set so you're not gonna see any light coming through. Gives you an extra sense of privacy. That door rolls perfectly. And welcome to their bedroom. Um, we've got a beautiful bedroom here, huge. Um, I'm 5'11", I can stand in this slide here. We've got a huge TV entertainment center. I love the wood, especially here. It feels like a proper dresser is what this feels like with this wood finish. More outlets, I love that they put these everywhere. That's so useful. Huge storage to the left. We've got a safe right there. Adjustable shelf. Three huge drawers right here. Perfect for folding and putting clothes in. Accent lights here, accent lights under there. Storage, more storage, spec sheet. And the control for our wolf bed. So I'm gonna get to that here in just a second. More storage down below, of course. Um, you've got light controls, all shades for the bedroom. And yeah, let's talk about the bed. So this has a wolf bed. Some of you might know what this is. Some of you might not. Basically, you've got two sides here. You've got a mattress over there and you've got a mattress here. Um, and they connect almost seamlessly. And you can do whatever you'd like. You can have them sit up. You can have the back sit up. So I'll sit there and hold that. Look at that, the right side's now coming up. This is so nice for sitting in bed, reading, um, actually using the bed to live, not just to go to sleep. And some people might like to sleep this way too. You can raise the feet up if you want. So watch this, I'm gonna raise, there goes the bottom part, look at that. Now this part's coming up. So you can do whatever you want. You could curve it just how you want um, to do whatever you like. And then it also has um, a cooling function. So these mattresses will kind of keep you better ventilated um, and also, it's got a vibration function. So it'll sit there and vibrate you on a timer if you'd like, um, and individually on each side. So you can have it sit there and vibrate, it'll roll up and down with the vibrations. Really cool setup. And then when you're ready to um, go flat, you just hit the flat button and it goes down to flat. But um, when you're ready to stow it to get on the road, you have to stow it to close the slide. This will fold up and get out of the way um, and suck in. And you could do that during the day too if you want more space in here for some reason, but there's plenty of space in here as it is. Beautiful countertops on each side, again with that gorgeous wood instead of stone, unique, um, and it looks nice. We've also got this beautiful woodwork wrapped around this extra second shelf, which is mainly there to house the buttons 
um, which lets you control all the lights and um, things like that, shades, and it's on both sides. So both people have full control over that kind of stuff. There's a generator start stop button here too. Outlets on each side with USBs built in. We've got a beautiful posh leather headboard here with the wood trim piece around it. You've got individual reading lights here that are LEDs. Temperature sensor right here at the headboard. So you're gonna be at perfect temperature. The system knows exactly what the temperature is on the bed um, you know, while you sleep. I love the extra storage up top, super deep. And all the accent lights around here just look really nice. You also still have full body mirrors. So you've got a huge mirror right here, and then you've got a huge mirror right here. So very thoughtful. Some of these modern coaches don't have that, um, and this one does. So you can easily get dressed, you can see your outfit, and it kind of adds a dimension to the coach. Now let's step into the bathroom. There's one step up into the bathroom. We've got a good amount of space in here. We've got that beautiful tile work again. I'm standing on top of extra engine access here, um, which you don't really notice. It's not a big lip. Got another big push button to porcelain toilet with tons of space around it. Love the countertop back here, emergency window here. You've got this extra little trim piece of wood with a second level of recessed lighting in there. I like that, it kind of adds a dimension. Beautiful backsplash, a really cool bulb, bespoke to the master bathroom. Nowhere else in the interior do you see this type of sink. It's like a designer sink, it looks gorgeous. Designer faucet here. Love that backsplash. Big amount of storage back there. Large amount of storage down there. We've got a pocket door right here. That pocket door looks nice. And then you've got this absolutely huge shower. Full glass enclosed with a stunning tile wall. I love how that feels. That's amazing. Um, the glass is in excellent shape because it's been squeegee this whole life. Really cool stonework down on the floor um, with a slight undulation in it that lets all the water roll to that big drain over there. Teak wood chair. And this is a huge shower. I mean, this is massive. I can walk across it. I also really like this shelf that's built in here. It's got a glass shelf up top and then a little bar here so you can easily store everything right there. But huge shower. You've got this like big rainfall shower and then you've got this little floating one. You know, you can sit here and wash yourself with no problem. This is adjustable. Oh yes, they've really improved that design. Look at that, that actually works. The old school ones were turds. We had it in our old American coach. That's an improved design. What a great shower though, right? So big. That's another reason you want to get this floor plan. I also like that they kind of continued the stone just a little bit on the edges. It kind of sets it a little bit better. Um, then you got these two towel racks here. And then automatic lights come on when you open up your big cedar lined wardrobe with built in shoe rack on the left with the matching finished wood that you see in the rest of the coach. All those LED lights up top. We've got our two extra fold out chairs, all the original manuals to the coach. You can open it on both sides too if you'd like. And that is the master bathroom. Another fantastic fan with that wood trim piece covering it. A oh, classic American coach design element with the vent from the air conditioning uh, built out of stone up there. Let's lock that in place. What an interior, am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> this thing is amazing. Um, the interior, the excellent travel space while still having this insane condo-like floor plan. Um, the elegance of the wood, the stone, the shower, ooh, the furniture. It's an incredible coach to be in. And let me tell you, it feels like a cocoon. When you're in here, you just disappear into a whole different world. Um, and like I said, if you wanna see out those huge windows, you just flick a button, and raise all the shades. Let's check out this beautiful cockpit and then we're gonna take this beast on the road. All right, here is the front cockpit. So I'm gonna start on the passenger side this time. We've got this huge, very comfy, beautiful seat here. Both of these front chairs do have recliners. We've got a separate thermostat and control just for the passenger here. Um, that switch is for the airlock, which is automatic. Cup holder. You've got access to a bunch of lights here. You can hit all master lights from right there. Fire extinguisher. Nice window out. And the dashboard is covered in this absolutely beautifully finished leather. It's called, it's got like French stitching or something like that, but 
It is absolutely beautiful. And there's also these little interesting pieces like this. It's like the soft material, um, really interesting. There's a outlet set up here with USBs. There's more outlets right there. Um, and then there's actually a little storage compartment right here that comes out on a drawer. And interestingly, you've got your um, another hour meter for the generator right there. So that locks into place. This thing has a banging audio system for the radio, which also has Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Both of these front chairs do have massage functions. They are heated and ventilated. Now you've got two screens here. This is our digital dash. Then you've got two screens here um, that do your radio, your navigation. It's got XM radio. It's got all kinds of different functions, Bluetooth, and your cameras come through here as well. You can have them actually come up on both screens, which is pretty cool when you're driving this bus, but it does have 360 cameras. It's got cameras everywhere around the coach, very high quality cameras. Now the steering wheel is a smart wheel. You adjust it using these little tabs here so it's electronically adjustable including the pedals um, to the left you've got your big window here which rolls down cup holder controls for everything such as the air horn three-stage exhaust brake the tag dump which is auto or it's in manual mode or actually it's disabled right now because we have passive steer on this coach but it does dump still if you want it to Allison 4000 series control our air and hydraulic leveling system control We've got headlights here, auto brights or auto headlights. You've got different driver presets, so to remember you know, where your spot is, there's two different presets on there, which is quite nice, and you go driver two or driver one. You've got your auxiliary start switch here, which is quite nice. It'll either do coach or fire up the generator. And over here, we've got docking light controls, a little dome light, which is right above us. Um, generator start stop. This lets you have the radio on when you're parked. So if we flip that, it'll power up, as you can see there. You've also got your keyless entry controls. So you can unlock and lock the doors. This is a button to switch the cameras that it's showing you. But as you can see, you can easily do that by coming in here and hitting this cam button. It'll flip around and show you exactly um, which one you wanna see. There's all kinds of different arrangements there. There's also this mode where it just shows you exactly which ones um, you can have, which is super cool, super duper cool. Love that camera system. Love these two screens. They're very simple, very big, very easy to use. The push button starts a nice piece there. Um, USB port down there to connect to the radio. And overall, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dash. Um, more outlets down there. Just a great setup and driving the bus is incredible. Look at those mirrors. Look how they set when you're sitting here looking at them from the cockpit. Absolutely brilliant. And the cabinet work, like the little glimpse of cabinet work you get while you're in here driving it is also really nice. You can get up to this compartment if you need to reach up there. Just a beautiful cockpit. So let's go test drive it. And you're about to see me get frazzled because I don't know exactly how to put into words what I'm thinking, but this coach, oh, it's awesome. This thing is absolutely fantastic. It's butter smooth, refined to the next level. The front end is so refined. I think this is the best front end that I've ever felt. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. How is it so refined? It's like I'm driving a, a Cadillac, a big SUV. This is phenomenal. I don't hear the engine at all. The engine is very, very nicely suppressed. It's a windy day today too, and the coach is just absolutely phenomenal. Very, 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 very little sway on this coach. I'm just taken aback right now because it drives so well. I mean, it's hard to say this is the best front end I've ever driven because I'm not doing it back to back, but this is one of the greatest, if not the greatest front ends that I've ever felt. The way it drives is, it's so easy to keep it in the lane and centered. It feels more like a car. Like, you know, you get in a bus and you're kind of bouncing a little bit. You get in a car and after driving a bus, you just go straight. That's what this feels like. You just, you're barely adjusting the wheel. Oh, in the 600s of beast. Barely hear that engine. Barely, barely hear it. 
It's so smooth. How is it this easy to drive? I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just so impressed with how it drives right now. Cruise control is great. Comfort drive is really great. I just turned the stiffness up. So just a minute ago, I was on the highway and I had the stiffness at about six. Now I've got it all the way up to 10 and it's even easier to drive. This is so amazing. This is the easiest bus I've, I think I've ever driven. I can say that as a fact. This is the easiest bus to drive, hands down. I could do so many miles in this coach. I could do so many miles because the steering is effortless. I mean, look at what I'm doing right now. I just need to do a little tiny input, tiny little input. And it's not dead in the center. American Coach has been good at this over the last couple of years, since 2019 and before, a couple years before this, where they had sensitive front ends, whereas most coaches had like dead front ends, you know, the center point of the steering wheel. This center point is not dead. When you do a minor correction, it reflects and gives you an actual minor correction instead of doing nothing until you get to a certain point and then you get too much correction and then you're bouncing in the lane. No, none of that bull crap on this coach. The steel rotor brakes are phenomenal, okay? They're easy to come to a smooth stop, they're powerful, but the exhaust brake is insane. I mean, it's, it's, this is the most strong auxiliary brake I've ever felt. Stronger than the transmission retarder. That's nuts. I also really like the 360 cameras. I can see where I'm at in the lane. I can see where I'm turning. I constantly have a view of the 360 cameras, the view from up above the coach. The power is awesome on the bus. The transmission shifts perfectly. This thing is a freight train. It is freaking awesome. It's a beast. The engine noise is minimal. It's unbelievably easy to drive. The exhaust brake, look, 35, 25, 20. I didn't touch the brakes. I was at 45 miles an hour. I just now touched them. The exhaust brake is nuts. What a bus, man. This is nuts. I sound like an idiot right now. <laughs> When a coach makes me sound like an idiot, you know I'm getting my mind blown. Okay, that's a little inside tip right there. It's probably kind of obvious. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the sensitivity. I'm gonna make the steering real loose now. Oh yeah, look at that, real loose. I can just throw this wheel like a Cadillac now. <sighs> I also really love the dash and the view out of the coach. It's like a proper big rig. The sway is minimal. You know, on a, t on a coach that's this tall, you'd expect it to flop around a lot, but it's got active air ride management. So it doesn't do pretty much, it doesn't do any of that. It just keeps itself planted when you're making right turns, left turns at a stoplight. There's a lot of times when you throw everyone to the left or right, not in this coach. You see how easy it was right there to come to a nice easy halt with the uh, steel rotor brakes? No problem at all. This coach is fantastic. Overall, this coach drives absolutely amazing. The front end is one of the best, if not the best I've ever felt. It's the easiest coach I have ever driven to keep it in the lanes. The least fatiguing coach I've ever driven. This is phenomenal. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is a driver's coach right here and a passenger's coach too, but the driver is gonna be so happy and enjoying the drive, let me tell you. This is such a pleasurable experience. I have quite enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just wanna keep going on and on about how amazing this thing is to drive. And um, yeah, but look, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you all in the next one.